Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim, our questing, modding, and adventuring love letter to all things Skyrim. I'm Tori. I'm Tyler. Last time on Shapeless Skyrim, we were led into Snowvale Rectum by Mercer <laughs> yeah. Frey. Uh, he lured us in there. It was a, it was your classic yeah, <laughs> classic he, child trap. He had a treat on the end of a fishing pole, and he was like, <laughs> we're just reeling in, like, come on, you're so close. And then we were shot with a poison dipped arrow, and then he stabbed us in the dick. He really did. He betrayed us. He did. He was he was the mole in the thieves guild this entire time, is what we learned. He, was. he killed Gallus. So now this is step one in enacting our revenge. Yeah. to kill Mercer Frey and take over the Thieves' Guild. So, let's get right into it. You know what I just noticed, Tori? What'd you just notice, T? We mentioned this earlier, but... if Skyrim didn't have this lush, mountainous landscape... The map really wouldn't be that big because I want to point something out here. Let me get in it. Let me get these out so right. I can kind of prove it. Gotcha. Within spitting distance, right. we have Windhelm right there. Yep. The walls of Windhelm. If I look behind me, Winter. Winterhold. Yep. Just within reach. Yep. And then I look straight ahead, like halfway down the map, I can see High Hrothgar. Yeah. Just right there like yep. i can visibly see it yeah it's it, just so strange it makes it feel kind of small now that you point that out yeah exactly because i mean like just look at right there like what's straight ahead right there like i'm guessing rifton is just right behind those mountains uh yeah i mean i guess it, i guess it would like be. these mountains right here yeah if those rift rifton would have yeah rifton right is just right behind it yeah, right it, there that, that does it does add a, a sense of distance. Uh, exactly. Having the mountains there. Because you do have to walk around them because you can't. I think that's great. Because, I mean, it's strategically, like, they know the map isn't all that big. Right. So, like, the mountains really help it, like, increase that distance. Like, I mean, yeah. if I were to just look right, like, right here, this mountain's right in front of Whiterun. Yep. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't there, I could see right to Whiterun. Yeah. It's just crazy how it, it makes is. it feel so much larger. Well, that's, I mean, that's, I feel like that's a, a testament to their design ability because they knew how much data they were going to be able to fit in like okay we have to use it has to be able to fit into the components of the ps3 and the xbox 360 and all that kind of stuff and um so you know we want to be able to make it feel big but we know we can't make it as big as maybe we would like to mm -hmm. so here's how we're going to do a workaround of that to make it still feel like you're covering a lot of distance we're just um, going to have you hop mountains every five seconds. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think they do it in a very cheating way, though. No, it, it's a very, still a gorgeous... And this is also how this area of Skyrim should be. You know, it's the northernmost region. Kill it! Kill the goat! No! Okay. Peaceful animals. Right, gotcha. But Sorry. man's got to eat. <laughs> man's got to eat. Man's got to drink. That was I, a nice shot. I, I just want to point out, I don't even have the hut on. I didn't know where the fuck that was going. <laughs> that was a nice shot. Well, <laughs> oh, you poor animal. Let's you drag its carcass dirt. out of the... Oh, God. Did you pin him to the ground? I think I might have. No, it's just like without all... the weight. Yeah. Oh, my God. Damn. That's, that's a heavy bastard. That's a fat goat. It's like your cat. He's my, just fat he's as shit. He's not fat. He's a good boy. He is fat. Can we get a picture of Mori boy? I'll Can put he... him up there. That's a fat cat. He's a good boy. He's fat. You shouldn't ever bring him outside because everyone would be like, that's animal abuse for how fat that cat is. <laughs> He's not fat. What the hell happened here? I assume some type of witchcraft and dark sorcery. But it does, does look really cool, though. All I'm right. Uh, where are we going to? Winterhold? We are on our way to Winterhold to get the Diary of Gallus translated. But. But. Oh, shit. You fuck up? Peaceful animals. Oh. Ah, oh, we don't really want to help these guys, do we? Are they the Thalmor? Oh, no, they're just hunters. Yeah, those are just How do you do? Just a fellow traveler. On my way to Winterhold. Yeah. Um, no, but what I'm just kind of upset about is that, you know how they kept mentioning, oh, like, it's been decades since Gallus died. Yeah. She had this diary for literally decades. Yep. And she just didn't even think of, like, 
hey, I should probably see if I can get this translated. Like, that yeah. thought never came to her yeah. in 20 and plus it came, years. Like, literally came to you right when it happened. You're like, what? But it's what? written in a different language. I don't know if we'll ever be able to but read the, it. Maybe she didn't have. I, I can't I remember. Know. There's an educational institution literally a, a hop, skip, and a jump away. Maybe she didn't have. Maybe she just got the journal from him. Well, no, because she let him good go. Good boys. Yeah, I don't know. Good boys. Peaceful animals coming Love through it. again. It's been nothing but a help to us since we got it. Oh, there's their little camp, their little bandit camp. Let's go set fire Let's to it. Let's launch an arrow to it. Okay. Oh, shit, a bear. A fucking bear. Right in the fucking neck, too. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, that's right. That'd be great if we heard that sound. One, One more. Sleeping. One more. Oh, the tent disappeared. Wow, that was a really great shot. Yeah, you're really Compliment me. You tore down their entire campsite. Man, I love Ruins of Winterhold. It's great. Yeah, that's right there. It just adds so much. It, it, it adds such a And I love that statue, feeling. too. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Why can't I we don't want to hurt you. It's all about peace, love, man. Oh, I went for a non-lethal shot, and I stuck him right in the eye. Yeah, you did. That's my bad. I hate when that... Oh, this feels so much cooler walking into yeah, Winterhold now. Yeah, it feels now. great. Having that, like, tattered banner hanging above it. Damn. 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 Beautiful. It is. Where is Enthir? I believe he's in the bar. Enthir is... Let's check our journal. I'm trying to play without HUD. I want to do yeah, journal. Yeah, we're, we're going to work on that so that we can have a bit more scenic. Carlia thing. believes the only proof that could expose Mercer's treachery can be found within the pages of Gallus's journal, which she did covered from Snowvale Rectum. Unfortunately, the journal is written in some sort of code that needs to be deciphered. Our only hope is Enthir, one of Carlia and Gallus's former acquaintances, who is a wizard at the College of Winterhold. So Enthir should be at the College of Winterhold? I don't, think, I don't Winterhold? think he's at the actual college, though. See, he's outside of it. He's in See, the frozen. See, I wish the journals were more descriptive. Because yeah. then that would make me want to read them more. Because then I could turn that HUD off completely, and then I could just be like, hey, I just want to go off yep. of the journals. Hey, modders. Please get on that. Hey, actually, before you go in, Tyler. Oh, I'm glad I remembered this. Uh, once we go inside, it'll be the showcase of our first mod of the day, which is going to be called interior lighting overhaul ELE interior lighting overhaul and uh, so hopefully when we go inside we'll notice a difference with how the light reacts indoors let's. it's only an indoor mod so let's huh? oh my god burn him Ugh, sorry I got let's a little check. nervous all right let's see what it looks like I'm not really noticing a difference I don't know if I'm either I'll I think it I think I I think I am. I think it's a bit darker and a bit sh more shadowy. I I think the light glowing off of the like yeah. the ceiling. Yeah. Let me let me read into this a little bit more here. I love this music. Yeah. It, oh my god. This is like honestly, this music is part of what makes Skyrim so amazing. Oh. Yeah. Jeremy Soul outdid himself. Jeremy Soul. I mean, I obviously they can't do the lighting overhauls like they would with a PC. So don't bother asking. Where's Enthir? Are you Enthir? Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. All right then. I'm looking for yeah, a wizard. I, turns out who runs I'm not exactly sure. I think it's just a little bit more seeming like the entire bar is completely lit by that fire in the middle, and like a little bit of light coming Why? through the windows. Because but I think it's just supposed to be a little more, a little darker, a little more shadowy and moody and, and stuff. I will, I will capture some here? some footage and do a side by side. Would you like to change your outfit? The mages don't let, huh? Should we try and put her in like armor? I think or it would make her naked, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> change yeah. my mind. Faction outfit. Oh no, the Dark Brotherhood is here. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, give her the yeah, give her the armor. 
Okay, okay, you've talked me into it. No! No! no. <laughs> what happened to her hair? Ah! Ah! Huh? Put it back! Ah! Just child okay, outfit okay. four. Talk child outfit it. four. <laughs> I don't like that. Ah. Take me away. Take, oh, me, away. God. Take me away. Uh, oh, sweet Jesus. God, does anyone have any booze right now? I need to calm down. Huh. Words of the clan mother. Something you might be seeing on Skyrim Storyteller. Available on SoundCloud, iTunes, uh, and YouTube. Where is Anthir? If you want a new one, bug Tyler. That's totally cool. <clears throat> That wasn't us. Oh, no. That was not us. I don't even know what a dead body is. Uh, Are you Enthir? Yes. Yep. Yes. What is it? Fucking shrouded. Yeah. I've been sent by Carlyle. There we go. Lighting overhaul working. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? That, yes. So she just came back and got the journal from the Snowvale. Oh, okay. So she didn't have it for decades. Okay. This makes more sense. Thank Problem. you, Todd Howard. Let me see it. No, oh, this I wish we could is just see you. like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too He's clever for his own now. good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. So they have a language? Yeah, well, they were once snow elves. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, hmm. Calselmo. He's they have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Okay. It would make Word sense that the dude in Markarth you know, is they a have fierce to, guardian of his Falmer research. there. Yep. And they have that dwarven rune. Easy. And it's built in. I mean, that's where Falmer live. That's why they're Falmer, is because the dwarves enslaved the snow elves and forced them underground, gave them mushrooms, turned them into the Falmer, and over years of like. Devolved. They devolved and yeah. stuff like that into the Falmer, so. Yeah. What exactly? Ooh, we can have him explain this to us. In too. the time before Perfect. man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. Ooh, whoa. So they were they were up there. Hit the button, T. Hit the, the button. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy The Nords line. just fuck everything the up. They really do. Underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the dwarves who ended up betraying them. I did not know that part. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. That makes sense, though. Literally everyone fucked them. They sound more like victims to me. Yeah. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. I like this guy. He seems pretty level-headed. You're and welcome to my fair. tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Cool. I would find your table if I could find anything in this lighting. Yeah. What can you tell me about Gallus now? Dear friend okay. of mine. Let's get as much and knowledge as we can. Exactly. Astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Mm. It wouldn't have been well, fucking mercy. For the thrill, of course. For the he was sexual that he thrill! Was climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes. Quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I'd I like caught him it. trying to break into my laboratory. Hmm. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? That is pretty crazy. A thief through and through. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ooh, yeah. I, wonder, I wonder what... Oh, there we go. Oh, where? I thought it, Ironically, I, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. All right. Cool. That was awesome. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful yep. when you speak to him. He's an asshole. I knew it. 
yeah, very dark in the corners and stuff. So I think it is working. Yeah, it's it appears to be. I'll, I will have put a side by side where already, so is, hopefully you guys will be able to see. Where is his book about the the Falmer? Oh, well, he said it's happened? on his desk. <laughs> oh no! Uh, and the, there's been a murder. <laughs> who? I wasn't me. Wait, shit! That's a that's a guilty thing to say. Split. Oh no! It was him. Get him! Stack him! <laughs> Run a go, sword go, 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 go! Oh, nice! That was gorgeous. This is gorgeous right now. Sure is. You mentioned that Calselmo was an asshole. Yeah. We're gonna need to be able to persuade him. We're gonna need to be able to tongue in cheek with this man. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Really, give give him the banter back. I think. I'm taking the lead on this. All right. I think I know where to go. All right. Lead me to it. <laughs> Tori, you might ask me, what are you doing at the Guardian Stone? I was just about to ask that. You see, the Thief Stone. What about the Thief Stone? We'll be more proficient with Thief skills now. So, by accepting this sign, we're accepting a mod that I've downloaded Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I went behind your back. You he doesn't know bitch. this is coming. But he's also got all the information right in front of him on the iPad. Tori, stop me from talking. Uh, we have a mod for you called Standing Stone Tweaks. Now, you might be shocked to hear this, but it tweaks the standing stones a little bit. I think for it us, also made them a little bit taller. No, they're always huge. No, I think they're taller. Nah. You're blind. Your third eye hasn't been opened, T. Uh, for us, we, they did, you know, there's things for every standing stone in the game and how it like increased it by a certain percentage or made all the standing stones a little bit better give you more of a boost but for us we're doing the thief stone so i'm only going to read the thief stone description lock picking and pickpocketing are 20 percent easier it makes you 20 percent harder to detect while sneaking and prices and persuasion become easier exactly what we're going to need exactly to persuade what we're gonna calcium calcelmo to sell his body to science. Exactly what I was thinking. So let's let's approach him with no weapons. We want to be like, you know, your your nice friendly thief. Your your nice friendly neighborhood thief. Alright, let's head all the way down to Understone Markarth. Keep. Oh god, what the fuck is going on? Um uh are they they just keep are they just replicating themselves? Ah! And they are just hammering our frame. We rate. have broken the space-time continuum. Was there like a fucking get-together? Yeah. Is this a KKK rally? It's, what it's the fuck? It's starting to seem that way. I don't like this at all. I'm just going. Ah! ah. They keep Ew. coming. Ew! Get away from me, you scum! That's a that's a dark that's a dark moment in American history. That with the <laughs> fact that we have the KKK and it started here, yeah. I like. How I is the KKK like a worldwide organization or is it like basically just South Carolina? I, I would assume it's pretty much probably just. Florida too. Yeah. I. If you're from the South and you're watching, you got to fix that shit. I don't <laughs> know how you individually will fix that, but, but you got to fix that shit. Yeah. No, not more. <laughs> Okay, just the ones. Just all of a sudden, like they just start multiplying, like fucking hamsters, like fucking. Hamsters. I feel like because ah, they multi yeah. a little double entendre. I got you. Or, yeah. That's the word, right? Yeah, I believe it is. Okay, yeah. That but if it's legit. not, you sound like a fucking idiot. Yeah, I do. Okay. Right there. Hello. Uh, calcium. What's up, bro? You've been lifting? You've been getting some calcium and calcium? Damn, man, your arms are looking fucking are doing huge. The excavation site is closed. Well, I, I don't need, need to go any in there. More workers or guards. Look. I'm uh, just looking for you, man. Are you a wizard? I'm looking for you actually. What you doing tonight? I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Yeah, I heard that. Why bit. do people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? It looks like you're just grinding you're weed right now, dog. Yeah, yeah, like you, you shit, man. The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel, and you people keep Well, and you're humble me. too. That's why we're coming I, to see you. It's because you're just so I'm humble. I'm sorry, I, I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I and I shouldn't have yelled. There we How go. How can I help you? 
All right. This guy's being kind of flip-floppy already, but... I hear you're the authority on ancient Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing Yeah, you want to ease him into it. Exactly. You got to grease the wheel, you know what I mean? I'm calling guide to the former tongue. It will hmm. revolutionize the way we understand Is that like the Kama Sutra? Beings. Fuck yeah. Perhaps I could view your work. Ah, oh, fuck. I wish there was a better dialogue option. Yeah. Preposterous. That research okay. represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. So you're not going to you share must it? You be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Oh, before it's completed. Uh, let's try the persuasion. Come on. Come on. Come on, Thief Stone. What kind of a mentor would I be if I denied a potential yeah. student a glimpse of his Thief Stone. Image. Standing Woo! Stone tweaks yeah. coming in. This key will provide access to my museum. Feel free to browse for as long as you wish. Thank you. However, I must insist that my laboratory remains strictly off limits. Sure. Nope. <laughs> I mean, hey. He <laughs> just goes right to his face. Nope. <laughs> nope. And like a cartoon, just <laughs> pew, we're just gone. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you just see his clothes like in the dust, and we just take off. Can we can we mod that Cyan Forty Nine jingle to also just <laughs> be for any usage? Like whenever we need it. Yeah, whenever we yeah. need it, just. I'm not gonna fucking ignore your lab. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without. I was the just talking to your boss, permission. you bitch. Why can't I go in? What? I just I just got access. <sighs> because Cal Silmo doesn't want anyone. To you have a problem with that? I did. Go talk to him. I did. You'll find him in front of the ruins. No, just, just go in. Talk. Screw him. Just go in. Wait, but is it is it no, am he, I even in the right spot? He just says that every time when you first walk up. That is the right spot. He's just being a, a be, being a, a fat bitch. So are we going to play this safe or are we going to kill all Oh, I think the guards aren't going to hurt us. I think it's only his bandits once we get into the laboratory that are going to going to really screw the pooch for us. I didn't even know there were bandits. This is Markov. Travis. Yep, so Save he's fine with us being here cuz we have the key. But uh yeah, he has some hired guards, not bandits, but like hired guards, hired thugs that are going to be protecting the stuff that are strictly off limits. And Is this, uh, this looks nice. I feel like they're going to be after us. There's Something a chest fierce. in there. Well, Tori, they won't be able to spot us. That room. Ooh, we're going to pull out the one ring. But Mr. Frodo. Oh, wait, I had the fucking key. Yeah, you did. Well, it's always fun to be invisible regardless. Steal from chest. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to steal from the chest. Got it. Yeah. Take it. Why not? We can smelt it. And the shit is dope. Look yeah, at that. That's a great armor rating. Yeah. Too bad we're a thief right now. We can't be... Ooh, take that, too. Unusual gem. We can't be burdened Ooh, with the... has got a uh, nice little museum the here. The heavy cling of metal. Not yeah, cling, we need to clang. be... Ooh, cool. Sneak increased. Perfect. It's got an Oh wow, there's a bunch of books here. And if it's driving you like if you've been watching and it's driving you crazy that we haven't uh increased our perk, like we've we've had a couple level ups and we haven't used them yet, and that drives you crazy, we're sorry, but we're saving it for important things to come. Exactly. Also, I do want to I do want to point out again that the interior lighting is at work in here. Yeah, yeah. It's very I, dark. I, it's I feel like every mod we're always like, oh, it's subtle, you know, it's a so. But like this one actually is like it just it it crushes the blacks a little bit, you know what I mean? It uh, makes the shadowy bits of actually shadowed. It's doing good work, and uh, god damn, you know we're taking it. I mean, nothing's gonna compete with the mother load we found a couple episodes back. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We're gonna have loads this. of good shit after we leave this place. We are, a and plus, he was kind of a dick and pretty cocky, so. So I don't really feel bad about stealing his life's work. Take a soul gem. It's it's already filled with a greater soul. He doesn't really have a great collection here. I mean, it's just a bunch of dumb he's got, shit. He's got some leeks and potatoes. Like the... I'm pretty sure he gets fed by the, the chefs, the cooks of uh, the Reach anyway, so he doesn't need his own food. Ooh, that looks really cool. This is probably the coolest part of the whole exhibit. All right back on track. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to get the... We're going to the laboratory. Yeah, we're going to the laboratory. The laboratory. Oh, there we go. You know, my laboratory is 
specifically off limits, but here's the fucking, <laughs> here's the fucking key. Just don't go in it. No, no, no. Like, all right, I'm a thief, clearly. You see my armor. <laughs> or does he? Okay, so there's oil. So this is where we're going to start getting attacked. So uh, we're going to need to be sneaky with it. Ooh, spider control rod. Uh, fuck yeah. Dope. What's it say about it? Uncle Calcium. Oh, gross. <laughs> Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Calcium. Uh. Uncle Calcium got back from <laughs> today. Lots of artifacts this trip. He even brought me something. A spider that didn't completely shatter when the guards smashed it. He wants me to get it working again. My first big research project. Oh, boy. Assembled the spider. The joints move. A control crystal with an electroharmonic signature. That's a cool phrase. I don't think it means anything, but... Assembled the staff to hold the crystal. It actually works. When you use the staff, it creates a beacon of some kind, and the spider walks over to it. Nice. See if, let's see if we can actually use that at some point. Apparently, it will still attack, just not on sight. During this morning's experiments, one of the newer guards was startled and drew his sword, and he was dead before anyone could react. Whoa. Yikes, it killed someone. I want to try this thing. Uh, it seems to detect the intent of the controller. No one appreciates my work. Uncle Calcimo is buried in his Falmer research and doesn't have any time to help me anymore. I just wanted to show the Yarrow, but I can't seem to get the spider to leave the lab. I just like picturing him as a whiny kid. Cool. Well, let's take that. Did he set uh -oh. a trap? No, I think the spider just realized that I took it. Oh, God. Well, better get it out. Uh, is it a, is it under the weapons? Yeah. Sick. <laughs> we can't even see it. Oh, I hope this works. I, I don't think I've ever picked this up in any playthrough and used it. I hear it. It is the scariest part. That's always the worst. Okay. Oh, I okay. don't have the key for that. Nope, that's the... That's probably the exit then. Wow, it's dark. Oh, there we go. Much better. I don't hear him anymore. I, you know, I feel like we didn't really talk about interior lighting. It looked great in the inn. Yep. For every other... like a For like a ruin... It probably isn't the best. Like just I don't think it looks so... bad. I just think it's really dark. Why does he have bandits? Like in his it lab? does look more like the lighting from the sources are the ones lighting the parts of the rooms that should be lit, and the parts of the rooms that should be dark are dark. It just makes it a lot harder to see and get around. Yeah, and stuff. I mean it's great for its purpose if you want to make it like that, but like right. for our purposes, like when we're doing a playthrough, right? You know, it's and it's no one hard can for see you anything. See. Yeah, right. That's probably not the mod for us. Great job. Probably just not the yeah. We us. might we might be kicking that, but I do like it. I I I am a fan of it. You know what I'm a fan of? Oh god damn it! Raw mm. rabbit leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's like the haunted cauldron of stew. <laughs> Imagine like some little girl like coming in to get her dinner and be like, "Mommy." Why is that stick moving itself? All right. Even though we can't see it. We're going to put on put on our oh chef's hat. Oh my god. We don't have time for this, Tyler. You don't have time for this. You no, I Screw really stealth. I don't need stealth. I need to cook cuz it's in my blood. The funniest part is that I'm going to cut that bit where you were cooking. No, you're not. You have to keep it. Nope. Mm -mm. All right. <gasps> Gord. Gord. Wow. We've. We, I feel like. I feel like the <gasps> the gods are calling to Jan, saying that Gord Ramsey needs to strike again. Gord Ramsey must have his final blow. I don't think we're in the right spot. Dwemer history and culture. Take his coin purse. He won't be Can't needing that. that. Yep. We'll read Dwemer history on Skyrim Storyteller. I don't think that's any of those books. No, I think we uh I think we should move on to the next bit. 
The next goof. The next the what? The no. next gag. Nope. It's not like go into the room that's gonna lead us to the next the next part. You gonna kill that guy? Or you're gonna let him live? I'm gonna let him live. I don't even wanna leave a trace that I was ever here. Except for all the stuff you're taking. Where the fuck am I going? Why should he like Kelselmo's gonna come back and be like, What the hell are my gourds? <laughs> I had like eight of them. I was gonna make a stew. What when do you even put gourds in? Uh everything. Yeah. I'm gonna guess this door is where I need to go. I guess I'm not a fan of like squash and stuff. I'm gonna be the is fucking emperor. Oops. Can't. You're in combat apparently? Oh, oh my god, yes, finally. Perfect. Cool. Now we're on with it. And that was with the increased lock picking. Nice, just sneak right past them. We'll be none the wiser. Yep, perfect. You're going the right way. I just want to see them get wrecked. Are you going to step on it? Are you going to trigger it? Where do I trigger it? Um, I don't know. I have oh, they no took idea. their weapons out. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, let them be. You pass this test. You live. <laughs> What's that from? Gladiator. That's what I thought. With Russell Crowe. I haven't seen that With in Cheryl Crowe. <laughs> Starring. Starring Hollywood heavy hitter Cheryl Crowe. Is that wildfire? <laughs> we gotta... We really gotta stop. We're on a huge Game of Thrones binge. Shit, now how the fuck do I... Uh... Rowan's print. You fucking dunce. Well, you could have been closer to the edge. Woo! There we go. Perfect. <laughs> not, well, not really. Well, my lungs are probably shot. Well, that's because you've been token a bit much of the sticky icky. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Do we have our uh Mistwatcher? And then we got our ebony dagger. Okay. Switching it up. I like taking the the stealthy approach to this here. Seriously, I want to set this off. I don't know how you do. I, I can't see the switch for it. I obviously can hide from you because I'm currently <laughs> doing so. Can't hide from me as you're right there. Yeah, I beg to differ. Okay. Can't see goddamn anything. No, it's, it's very dark. You could kill that person and light a torch. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like, I think I heard something. I'm not in combat. No. Does he, uh, I don't think he sees you. Just sit right next to him. That would have been amazing. I know. <laughs> Wizard's guard. Oh my god. I want to have a job title that cool sometime. Or I just want to be the wizard. Well, at least he sat down gently. Ah, I wish it didn't say we were in combat. I know. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Stare at him. Shoot him with a bow. <laughs> All right. On we go. Oh, is that a door? Is that where we're going? She's, she's going to be fucking terrified. Should we have poltergeist? Leave. Nope. She's, she's real dumb. Nope. No one. Are you even here? Are any of us here? Woo! Anytime you've ever had a supernatural experience, it's just yawn. <laughs> it's always... Everything that ever has or will be... Has been or will be, is it? It's been yawn. Jesus Christ! This can't be happening! All of his friends are dying. This can't be happening. <laughs> oh no! 
Oh, this my. is the worst I ever got it. <laughs> this is the wrongest I ever got it. <laughs> twin secrets. Ooh. Secrets of twins. Cool. Come on. Chim. Yeah. We're going to take all these. Something to do with the chimer. But, uh. Ooh, an emerald? All right. Cool. Yeah. I'm down with that. Perfect. We're having we're we're loading up on books that'll be perfect for the Skyrim library. Is this it? That is a lexicon puzzle cube. Ooh. Beautiful. And then I think Why'd you get this? <laughs> Never mind. Don't tell me. Don't you know? I don't I... wanna know. That was easy. I'm I'm Hollywood heavy hitter Jason Statham, store of the transport series. <laughs> well not anymore. No. Yeah, those got taken over by who? the guy who originally played uh, Dario Naharis. Yes, I think that's why he left the show. It always comes back to that, doesn't it? What were you doing? Well, I mean, I'm just gonna just playing around, diddling yourself. Kalsimo's tower. We need to go go to his tower. First, let's take a moment to appreciate the view. Wow. View. Oh, wow. Such view. <laughs> very. Much, much color. <laughs> I was going to say very color. Very gradient. It's fine. Uh, I believe that's what we're going for. The thing with the yep. giant quest marker on it. So we need probably a roll of paper to like transcribe this on. Yes. Yes. Make like very a, dark. Make like a charcoal etching. Uh, can we Cause, can we scare our way up that? Doesn't I honestly don't know what we're looking at right now. So. Neither do I. But we made it. Perfect. Okay. Let's go make. Do we have a roll of paper? Uh, okay. So we need to find charcoal and a roll of paper. It's got to be around here somewhere. It's probably in that room right <laughs> behind you. That was an impressive jump. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's a good good idea. We probably don't need the one ring on right now. No. Nothing? Okay. Nothing. Nothing up here. Damn. It's probably in that room behind you, and I think there's yep. probably a fight to be had in that room behind you as well. Because I think we kind of took a cheat way up here. Ah. Not a, not a soul to be had. Right. Some there. charcoal. And then rolls of paper galore. Whoa. That's, I like how he they... is rolling up some fat fucking doobies. Yeah. Right <laughs> Damn, calcium. You're fucking ripping bong. <laughs> On that same note, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to Melanie Lee again for watching this with her offspring every week. So <laughs> thanks for making that reference, Steve. <laughs> We really appreciate your feedback. We look forward to your comments every week, so thank you, Melanie. Drugs are not cool, kids. Stay in school. But drinking is cool. <laughs> drinking makes you fucking sick. And by drinking, we mean drinking your milk. Staying hydrated. Water. It's healthy for you. N did you... You already got the stuff. Yeah. Okay. I I'm trying to fucking light up some doobies in this chair, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's been fucking real trippy in here, dude. Dude, this is like, the like peace, loving, good vibes, man. Man, but if you don't smoke weed, you're like a, you're fucking stupid, dude. Oh, oh. You can't get. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Like this don't just happen. Someone is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. Put on the one ring. I... That's that one guy who had the. Uh! If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. Just walk right past him and out the door. It's gonna be amazing. I wish we could just set like traps or something like that. Like that's a that's a super fun thing to do in, in Horizon. You can set a trap and then just lure people over and they walk into it. Cool. Tyler, I think we might just be the best thief that has ever lived. I think that might be. And, it, it and just, it's all thanks to the One Ring. It is thanks to the One Ring. And thanks to the better thief 
perks. Yes, that makes sneaking much, much nicer. All right, done. See, I like this because it doesn't, like, even the thief missions in this game are like, okay, you're a thief, go in there and fight a bunch of dudes in one-on-one -on -one combat. More like one-on-eight combat. Oh, tally-ho. Oh, damn it. Don't, yeah, you can't. It won't let you. Are you stuck? No. You have to go back through, unfortunately. I thought you can just jump down the fucking waterfall somewhere. No, I don't believe you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'd never... Righty-ho! <clears throat> Leap of faith. That's my bird noise. It plays Assassin's Creed. I know, I know a bit about this stuff. And wow. walk out like nothing ever That's happened. That's way cooler than anything I ever did. All right, let's go uh, back to Enthir, I suppose. Yeah, you're probably right, but I just want to walk out like a fucking badass. Okay. It's going to take some time. It's very foggy here, though. What a color palette, though. You know what I mean? You got that little bit of orange on the side there and the blue. It's, it's a gradient, Tyler. A lovely gradient. I used Microsoft Paint. I know what a gradient is. Don't act smarter than, smarter than me. I'm just, I'm just informed. Don't you. act like you're uh, good and better than anybody else. We are all equal, under the eyes of God. Evening, sir. On we go. What the fuck is going on with? <laughs> I don't know. I think. Is this interior lighting? No, because that's only interiors. It doesn't affect anything on the outside. I think it's just. Some weird, weird interaction. Would anyone going see on me here. if I stole this horse? Probably not. We don't use horses too often. With haste! Raw and shadow facts. Show them the meaning of haste. Huzzah! I just want to This getaway is not nearly as swift as I would like. I think it's just the fog that's really distorting the light. The volumetrum fog uh, mixed with dolomite weathers. Sir? Evening, sir. Morning, I'm pretty sure. You dits. Evening, sir. <laughs> and on we go. Let's go talk to Enthir. Ah, motherfucker. What an it oh, it's a dragon. You went the way of the dragon. Wow, that sounds badass. <laughs> You're like fucking right I did. I wish I could see an enemy around me. Hey, there's hey! cherry blossom trees. Yes. Good old Cyan 49. Skyrim Spring Tree coming in with Cyan 49. Thanks, Cyan. You're the best. I mean, can I just throw the can I just throw the graphic in there even though we're not showing off one of his mods? I mean, let me let me walk by that tree again or let me Yeah, yeah. Well, we can't fucking see the tree. Just fucking do it. Okay. That's the best. I love that jingle. That was a fun time. It's a it's a real banger. Thanks, man. Do you think that shit will be on the radio, man? Do you like, think I got a radio hit there? Probably, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> I think so, Damn. so aggressively happy about it. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, Damn, I figured. man. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on that. Oh. I'm gonna pray. This is a fucking cool the ass. The Lover Stone. Tori, give me a little uh, read-up on what does the, what does the oh, lover what stone does the do? Stone? How is that affected by standing stone tweaks? Let me no! What? Oh, damn. I hate damn. to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The lover stone. Learn all skills 20% faster. Mm, I like where we're at. But, you Ooh. know what? Horse, come back! Oh, damn. She is a thick girl. That looks like a cow. <laughs> it really does, though. Tyler, take us back to end here. I'm, I'm, I'm tired I'm of saying I'm it. I'm trying. Are ya? It doesn't seem like you're trying. There we go. I ride into this town on a horse. I'm looking for the sheriff. I've got a bone to pick with him. Why are they all attacking us? What? Oh, it's, is it vampires? I was gonna say, I would be... Yeah, vampires. Do we want? Do we want to help the people? Yeah, I guess we should. Yeah, those are our soldier friends. Yeah, we were an imperial. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I just there's vampires always attacking. I feel like I, I feel like once an episode when we arrive at a town there's vampires attacking, but oh well. 
They ain't nothing to Jan Cena. Nope. All right, in we go. Does it seem dangerous to just leave their vampirism-affected, like, disease-riddled bodies in the streets? I feel yeah. like that might start a plague. Well, you know. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> Does this really apply here? Ooh, are we having toasted human today? Empire. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, what, wait, hold on. Talk to that guy for a minute. He seems pretty drunk. Just a more, you know, them elves. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Huh? D dude, what are we going to put him in? What are we going to put him in? Uh, faction outfit. Okay. If he wants to act like a fool, he's well, going to be a fool. That is genius. Okay, okay. You talk me into it. Dance. Holy shit, he looks just like him. Dance for me. <laughs> Start shooting arrows at his feet. <laughs> Like dance our, for me, boy. Scraping our sword at his feet, and making him dance. All right, he's downstairs now. Looks like. Damn. The cellar. Ooh. Had an uncle that brought me down to the cellar a few times. I don't really want to be down here, but we'll just make it quick. Okay, go go. Pull go. out a torch. Man, moody, moody down here. No, oh, Carlia. Hello. The fuck are you doing She's here? Like, I heard you talking shit about being the best thief. Back, eh? Still me. How was our friend Caselmo? Yeah, she is. Damn. What if what if Carlia's presence would have scared the shit out of Enthir too? He didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, what the fuck, Carlia? What? <laughs> I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. It yeah, was not running, through eh? uh scholarly. I expect Yeah, we, but to, to be fair, we did not kill that many people. No. Or any, I don't think. It's quite a tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Yep, there you go. This is a cool mission. It is. Ooh. Cool. I like the etching. The Falmer, a study. What does it say? <laughs> hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. Yeah, I'm like midget point. It appears that Gallus had suspicions <laughs> about Mercer's <laughs> really sorry. to the guild for months. Sorry, kids. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal so this say where this dude is awesome. came from? Yes, I was hoping he'd be in the right hands, then we could get a cool thumbnail. Funds from the well, treasury without we'll make knowledge. it regardless. Anything else, Enthe? Anything about the Nightingales? Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. What is a sepulchre? Desecrated? Like he shit in it? <laughs> so it's true. I, I'm not is that the right word? I'm so Twilight dumb. Why is it so funny? What is it? What's, what's Mercer Oh, wait, no, done? that's defecating. <laughs> I'm sorry, Antha. <laughs> For a second, I thought he just literally... His crime was that he just kind of... <laughs> Farewell, Antha. Ugh. <sighs> Words can't express. They're gonna it's be right, so Carlyle. pissed about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we missed a lot of cool stuff there. Why are you coming closer to me, friend? Listen, all I oh. want is the yeah. truth to be revealed to the guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you She's can, right and I'm staring at us through the edge. Favor. Thank Why are you moving? Why are you like. Thank you, huh? and the do me a favor? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, chill out. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. a boy. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, like and I'll see what man. I can do. I do, yeah. Look at those cobwebs just swinging if in the back. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. Well... <laughs> College, bro. <laughs> Party hard, must dude. Must to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Gallus's journal mentions. Let's find out what the Twilight Sepulchre is. Come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal, 
It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. <laughs> Mercer shit in it. He pooped in it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that represents Nocturnal's right influence is contained the within toilet. the walls of the sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Poop on it. Dude, look at I love how she's got the dagger on her shoulder. Oh, that's awesome. I felt the same I never way noticed when Gallus that. first revealed these things to me. Why don't we if have that? Time, you'll understand what I mean. It's annoying. I'd understand better if less mystery was No. Are you kidding? I love I like, mysteries. Yeah, I love that this is so like nightingale. Shady. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I, I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Your voice alone makes me trust you. You have I'll the make for and coolest the female voice in the game. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. How the fuck are you going to get in? in? Meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? If the guild isn't willing to listen to reason... You might have to. I will. I like her. Nightingale Ooh. blade? Yes, that looks sick. Let's pull it out. Pull it out, give a give a quick look, and then we'll call it for the day, I think. But I love Nightingale everything. Dude, and we got that mod that makes it Yeah. You have to oh you can't you can't do a full 360 with weapons out. Yep. Wow. I love that blade. Just the just the holster looks really cool. Yeah, for you it. can get a good look at the sheath with just I don't know why I never noticed that stuff before. Yeah, looks good. I love the nightingale blade. It's just so cool looking. Alright, well I think nice. we'll figure out what uh what happened with the Twilight Sepulchre next episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll murder her as well. Okay, and the torch just went out, so I think this is a good place to call it. Spooky. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. If you have any mods you'd like to suggest, any quests or quest lines you'd like to see us play, or any changes you'd like to see made to the show, you can find me on Twitter. I'll be at Lurking Lion. I actually won't be on Twitter because I've decided that it's poisoning my life and I need to focus on other things like schoolwork, so I won't be on Twitter. However, yeah. you can contact Shapeless Gaming on Twitter. That's going to be at Shapeless Gaming. On Facebook as well? <laughs> um, forgetting everything here? I'm dropping everything right now. I really... I I desecrated. Yeah. I desecrated <laughs> <You> really, this. <laughs> desecrated the bat on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned every Tuesday for more Shapeless Skyrim, and every Thursday for Throwback Thursday. And thank you for watching. I already said that, didn't I? Fuck. No, you... Cut! Didn't.